Want to know what my biggest fear about RVing is? Is having to have it towed. So I do everything I can to avoid that. Um, we're here at Napa. Stopped and got some uh, some brake pads. Uh, a set for the front brakes and a set for the rear brakes. I'm going to have a uh, a garage called Max's Garage. Uh, put these on today and do one other task. Uh, all in an effort to just keep the bounder rolling safely. So we're here at Max's Garage. This is where they work on all the big stuff. That sure is a pretty truck. And that sure is a pretty dog. Bella says, are we going to get our motor home fixed? Uh, are we going to get it worked on? Uh, hmm? It says it sure is a nice day to get it worked on. Uh. This is nice. I got here nice and early. They're going to get me right in. Heck of any luck, we'll be out of here well before noon. Okay, these guys ain't messing around. Got the front end already apart. He's breezing the uh, inner wheel bearing. And uh, he's already got the outer wheel bearing here uh, repacked with grease. These brake pads, uh, they're pretty worn. There's still some life in them. They're not completely shot, but they sure are getting there uh, compared to a new one here. I'm gonna put a new one and an old one together to see the difference. There, see how much thicker that new one is on the left? And that right one doesn't have a whole lot of life left in it. So that was the outers, or the, the inners, and these are the outers here. Yeah, they're about worn out. Already got the other side all back together. Looking good, new brakes, freshly packed wheel bearings, freshly packed with new grease. Uh, getting ready to start on the back ones here. I really should have done this job on his back at the garage in Pennsylvania. I really should have. I do have the tools. I could, on board, I could have done this. It would have been an all day event and then some. I'm not gonna do all that on the road. These guys do a nice job. It's a huge relief getting this done. You know, it turns out the brake, brakes were uh, you know worn they were worn plenty they still had some life in them but you know if you wear them too thin and then it starts doing other damage and now you've turned a you know four hundred dollar brake job give or take into a you know thousand plus you know big concern uh really was what shape the brakes were in and those front wheel bearings uh, how much grease was still in them and i bought this in october it had forty three thousand miles on it now I think it has 59,000. So that's 16,000 miles on those on those brakes. Um, like I say, I put new brakes on it as soon as I bought it. Uh, so there's 16,000 miles on those brakes. And since those bearings were repacked with grease. So my thinking was after 16,000 miles, okay, I've been, you know, across the south, you know, through the, where do they, where do they go across the, uh, up through New Mexico, through Albuquerque. So that's kind of getting to the low end of the uh, Rocky Mountains and up to the, the van build and the RTR and all that stuff last year. And uh, then back over, all the way back over to Florida again, up through Tennessee and through the Appalachians and back and forth, messing around there for quite a while. And then when I headed back over uh, to Washington here, yeah, it's up and over the Rockies and the Cascades and yeah, then, then getting back this far, I'm back across the Cascades again. So that's a lot of, 
you know, 16,000 miles of that. Hmm. And I started hearing that noise. I thought, I need to get these done before it gets worse and does, you know, gets to be a real expensive job. So we are in Lakeview, Oregon, and we're kind of at the edge of the desert here. We're, we're almost in middle of nowhere, USA. It, we're on the edge of it anyway. I'm gonna start heading east of here and really get into the desert and I do not want any problems with the RV. Uh, I'm glad I'm getting the brakes done, but having those, uh, the wheel bearings re-greased, uh, I know they're good. They still had a good bit of grease in them. One a little less than the other. Um, after 16,000 miles, you know, that's, having those done is particularly important to me. There'd be nothing worse than being out in the middle of nowhere, out in the middle of the desert, and one of those wheel bearings starting to run dry. Because it will get hot and it will start glowing. It'll start become get so hot it could become molten steel and it might be on that verge, uh, on the point of that, and you might come to a stop and when it, the bearing cools back down, it can actually seize. You go to pull out and that one wheel won't turn. What's worse yet, and, oh, and talk about an expensive repair, because you likely ruined the, um, the spindle as well. Talk about an expensive repair. What worse could happen would be if the thing starts getting hot and starting to glow and becoming molten and, and you're, you still got an hour to go somewhere. You know, that thing's getting hotter and hotter and could actually, that thing could get glowing so bad it could actually melt and snap that spindle off. There goes your front tire, you lose control of your rig. It could be catastrophic, it could be a disaster. So that's a huge relief getting those those bearings repacked at this point i know i'll be good for another you know 10 15 thousand miles i'm good to go for quite a while now so it's just it's really big getting this done today and really it's preventive maintenance and what it, instead of waiting for something to happen or or till noises get bad and no well, maybe i should have it looked at no no it's i knew it was about due and uh doing it now while it's cheap i mean it's just a it's good preventive maintenance it's uh it's uh it's a big safety thing it's a huge safety thing is to do preventive maintenance on your on your vehicle so no matter what you drive you know if it's been a while it doesn't cost a lot to at least pull in somewhere some mechanic shop and have your brakes looked at so and if you catch them early enough it's not real a real expensive repair. I hope to get out of here for, oh, I don't know, a couple hundred bucks or so, or so. But it's cheap, uh, it's cheap in my book. Okay, he's lifting it up with a, a pneumatic jack, same type of jack they use for big rigs. Um, it, it should lift it just fine. And by the way, uh, brake pads do have a little device made onto them uh, to serve as an early warning alert. These two little metal tabs on the left side, you can see that the tips are shiny. Well, they're designed that when that pad gets down so far, it, those tabs start hitting on a rotor and they start squeaking. So when your brakes start squeaking, there it is, your, your pads are getting uh, pretty thin. It's time, it's time to get them checked. Okay, the Bounder does have four wheel disc brakes. Uh, it really does have uh, some pretty nice braking ability. It's surprisingly for something this big and heavy, it brakes pretty well considering, as it should. I need to design them to do that. And the rear pads, yeah, the rear pads were uh, much thinner than I expected. And those wear, wear indicators were also shining. I mean, that pad is very thin. That was getting close. If the rest of that pad would have worn away and the metal backing piece would have started rubbing into the rotor, um, then, then I have to replace a rotor and those are not cheap. 
So that's what I mean. It starts getting expensive if you let the pads wear out too, uh, too far. It's nice to put two guys on a job. I think we'll definitely be out of here before noon. Um, yeah. Just all the way around. All the brakes all the way around. Uh, they were pretty worn out. This was good timing. I'm so glad I stopped and did this. So the lesson here is, uh, as soon as your brakes start making any squeaking noise, get it checked. Get it checked. More of those indicators were touching and rubbing than I realized. So I'm glad I came. I got all new brake pads the whole way around. Front bearings are greased. We'll be good to go for a while. I'm glad, so glad I did this. We also checked all the uh, air pressure in the tires. They are all at 95 pounds. I think maximum, uh, the maximum pressure is 110 uh, PSI. I've been running them at 95 pounds. They still, they still holding air good. So we're looking good here. For premium brake pads. They're only $39.99 for the front set, $39.99 for the backs. So, you know, oh, and there's no sales tax in Oregon. So for just under $80 in parts, a few hundred in labor, the bounder's good to go again. That's it. The bounder's, the bounder's in good shape. All of that just to say make sure you take time to have your vehicle checked once in a while make sure it's safe and no matter what you drive uh, let's all be safe out there if you like this video this type of video that squeeze in the maintenance ones once in a while you can't all be campfires and marshmallows out there got to take care of some real life things uh, if you like the video give it a thumbs up uh, mention it in the comments below if you like this sort of thing as always like comment, share, subscribe, something like that. Um, thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.